this video i am going to show you how you can create this complete animation in blender so without any further ado let's get started if you are absolute beginner and don't know how to create this cosmetic tube i would suggest you to watch this youtube video uh, uh, john dickinson's how to model cosmetic tube in blender there you will know how to create this cosmetic tube and uh, second let's create uh, let's create objects for particles that that rose feather okay i am going to hide this tube for okay so i am going to hide this tube for now and i'm going to model the feather As you can see I have created three uh, rose feather over here and uh, I am going to select this all and uh, press M for uh, create new collection and I am going to name this rose hit ok over here you can see um, uh, the collection already has been created ok now uh, let's hide hide this for a moment and uh, and hide the tube and now let's create one plane to emit the particles press as for scale and uh, come over here particle properties and press plus to add particles and if you uh, play this animation you can see there is some particles 
which is falling down and so what we need is I want to make the number 300 and the my end frame uh, will be 200 uh, uh, 250 maybe and uh, the lifetime I would like to add 250 and end frame 150 I will select and then come back to velocity I will make this 10 because I want uh, this to go higher and uh, uh, come to fill weight and make this gravity all the way to zero and if you play this now you can see this is going upward this is exactly what i want now all we have to do is add one curve to give this particle a path to follow okay i am going to select curve spiral and if you are not able to say all these curve options just you have to go edit preference uh, over here you have to search for curve and add a curve extra object you have to check this out okay then save the preference cross this and I'm going to select a spiral curve archimedium will be good and over here you can see one option curve spiral uh, I'm going to set the height to uh, I'm not sure maybe this and turn one two three this will be good and uh, growth radius uh, okay this will be good i'm happy with that and maybe a bit more no, not height uh, this one okay and uh, i'm going to lower the steps over here 24 to uh, maybe 12 9 maybe 8 okay 9 is good for my purpose now come to the physics properties hit force field and then curve guide and make this to smaller maybe okay this will be good if you hit this you can see these particles are following this path in this curve right now okay this is exactly what I want now select uh, this pen over here and uh, come to uh, particle properties over here in render and render us you have to select hollow to collection and instance collection you have to select the rows and over here you can see this uh, this rose leaves are too small right now so uh, and also you have to check object rotation and I'm going to make the scale a bit bigger And also you have to tweak some rotation uh, uh, rotation also you can uh, tweak this physics property according to your need like see what I get So this is exactly what I want uh, for this and I'm going to make this uh, end frame to 350 and if uh, right now I play this I have this whole animation okay now 
create one plane for background uh, make this as 8 and the and i want to make this more bigger okay this might be enough for this and so hit tab for edit mode uh, e z to extrude in that direction and this might be good and select this loop and control b to select to activate the bevel okay and i'm going to make this shade smooth okay so now we have to bring one camera uh, into the scene and uh, so uh, let's bring one camera uh, here you can see here is my camera i don't know you are able to see this tiny tiny camera or not but here it is okay so what uh, we have to do press and for this menu and uh, in this view option you have to select this two checkbox and press 0 for camera view and uh, over here you can adjust your frame and also yeah I'm going to make the resolution uh, 1090 to 800 and 3 maybe to make this more cinema uh, to give this more cinematic look okay okay so this will be my final frame maybe press n to hide that yeah i guess this is perfect this is exactly what i want and uh, yes uh, and uh, right now I'm going to show you uh, my texture and the lighting I used on that other um, blend file so let's save this first I'm going to name this what I'm going to name this I'm going to name this tutorial okay now open my original file I'm going to open my original file okay so let me enable few things over here Okay, so here I have used uh, three camera, uh, one in the top uh, and one in the back and wait for a minute. and for the texture uh, I have used pretty ba basic te texture I didn't <laughs> complicate all those things so uh, for the rose feather ok so you can take the screenshot if you want to copy this or you can use your own texture if you want to uh, if you want to make uh, your own and uh, what I have done for the cylinder is uh, this is simple I didn't do anything much and uh, yes and the for background this is also simple and this is it so 
if you like this video hit the like button and uh, subscribe this channel uh, if you want to learn more about animation if you yeah if you want to learn more about animation and uh, press the bell icon because i'm going to upload so much videos regarding vfx and animation and uh, also after effects sometimes okay for thank you for watching this video see you in the next video